What's going on everyone? Elijah with Aiden Pressure Washing here. We've got a pretty big winter storm that is going to be hitting our area tomorrow. It looks like, I mean I've seen reports of anywhere from 4 to 10 inches of snow. It's kind of one of those scenarios where it's going to be about 29 to 33 degrees. So we could just get rain we could get freezing rain could get dumped on with snow um, it looks like we should get at least a little bit of snow hopefully I'm not hoping for the eight inches of snow hopefully it ends up being in closer to the four range but it'll be heavy heavy snow which is uh never really fun so we're running out to the shop right now gonna grab the plow gonna grab some blowers shovels ice melt that sort of stuff just to start getting stuff prepped. So we'll kind of take you along with, with us for that. And then hopefully we get some footage of, of us doing the actual snow removal. I'm gonna to try to make it a point to uh, take the time out during the storm to uh, film some, some of our uh, processes and stuff that we do for you. So that way you can kind of check that out. But it should be an interesting next 48 hours. All right, catch you later. Saying, make sure you don't have ice milk. I even rinsed down some of their stuff. Nice. All right, so to hook this plow up, pull in, and it's got that little hook there. Pull pin, lift up. Oh, she's hooked up. And then we got to plug her in. Shoved it way in there. Oh my god. Get rid of this front plate. Blooper reel. Blooper reel. Hey! There it is. Hey, there she is. Everything's cold and frozen. God. Wait till we get some real cold. Wow. Boom! She's hooked up. <laughs> so strong. So strong. Let's throw these out now so they don't blow out.
Oh. Beautiful. Love my boss not helping. <laughs> <laughs> God. All right, so we got to put the bags of sand in the back to ballast for the plow that's in the front. Obviously, you're adding like 900 pounds of plow weight in the front of the truck, so you need to add some weight in the back to even it out. Plus, when you're driving around snowy roads, that much weight on the front makes it that much harder to get any traction if you don't have weight in the back. So it's a little bit of a process to get everything hooked up and ready, but... Okay, so in prep for this storm, I put together another salt spreader. Again, we like the AgriFab commercial 130 pound spreaders. I just got them stuff in there from the install. Uh, but one thing, if you do get this, I'd highly recommend doing is it comes with these little, this little cotter pin here. And this is what attaches to the axle that then turns the, the spreader. Those will shear off in our case every single time. So what we do is we take it out and we replace it with a nail and then you just of course bend the other when you put it through bend the other end and that works that keeps it going and if this shears off this wheel will continue to spin but it won't engage the axle which then means you won't be throwing salt anywhere it'll just be dropping down and falling off which is no good so i'm going to take that out and switch out that cotter pin for a nail okay so I just popped it out, popped the nail in, bent the end so that way it's not going to slide out and it engages. As it moves, it spins. So we're good to go there. But yeah, these that it comes with, so you normally you'll stick this in, you'll bend both ends, but it's just not thick enough or hard enough metal. And, you know, within a couple times of or a couple uses, it just ends up shearing off and then it's no good. So next I'm going to go ahead and take fluid film. I'm going to coat the, all the underside of this spreader. And then I'm also going to coat the plow too in preparation for the storm. It's just kind of a good way to protect everything, especially on these spreaders. It does have a stainless steel axle, um, but all the other parts are just powder coated. And so over time they'll wear down. So keeping everything coated and, and of course, after you're done using it, washing it right away is key to keeping everything in good running order.